life is no place for the pious. You mean the pretentiously pious, Sister Berta. Now there's Christina and Maria and Laughter. I don't think there should be any doubt in my mother's mind about Maria. I gave Maria permission to leave the attic for the day, Sister Berta. I told you, Sister Berta. Sister Sophia, the mistress of novels and the mistress of postulants don't see eye to eye about Maria. How do you feel about her? I love her dearly. She always seems to be in trouble, doesn't she? Exactly what I'm saying. She climbs a tree and scrapes her knee. Her dress is done and tear. She runs and runs her way to find some grace to come.
Now hear this. This is your new governess, Fortline Maria. As I sound your signal, you will step forward and repeat your name. You, Fortline, will listen and learn the signals so you can follow when you want them.
notes in our heads, we can sing a million different tunes. Oh. Why well, mixing them up? Listen. So do go me do re. Now you try it.
can't be sure to have a telegram to deliver you tomorrow night. I think you by mistake. There's a telegram from Colonel Schreiber. He's here from Berlin. He's staying with the golf ladder, but I... No one's supposed to know that. Don't you tell your father. Why not? Well, your father's... Austrian. <laughs> We're all Austrian. Yes, but some people think we ought to be German. We're pretty mad at those who don't think so. We're getting ready to. Well, let's hope he hasn't been any trouble. Don't worry about father. He was decorated for bravery. I know. I don't worry about him. The only one I worry about is his daughter. Me? Why? How old are you, Lisa? Sixteen. What's wrong with that? Thank you. 
Cross. Tell Max and Randy Coffee out here? Yes, sir. We did a lot of stuff. Cross, right here? No sign of the children's cross? No, not yet, sir. Any word? Those mountains? Can I do this? Yes, but not like any other mountains. They're friendly. And that green stretch of woods over there, where the wind moves through it, it's like a red. And that sweet little village. It's not a village, it's a town. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt the feeling. It's fun being with you. You're quite an experience for me. Quite an experience for me, too. Somewhere in you, there's a fascinator. Occasionally, I catch a glimpse of it. And when I do, it's exciting. Exciting? I've never been called exciting. I'm beginning to understand you better now, Lexi. You know, you a lot like those mountains. Except you keep moving. How can you be away from this place as much as you want? Maybe I've been searching for a reason to come back to stay. I'm running here to Max can't still be on the telephone. I know he's desperate about getting singers from the Salzburg Festival, but. Like it here? Oh, um, we had to spend some time in Vienna. I am hiding to the state to make that. I thought that was a corporation now. It is, and I'm president. You? President of a corporation? Well, after all, I managed some affairs for years before I died. I can't see you sitting behind a desk. Well, I wear a business suit. It's smoke and it's too long. Excuse me, Captain. Who knows what I would like this coffee? Oh, he's telephoning? He just finished. <laughs> I'm sorry I took so long. Any luck? Well, how would you like this for the Salzburg Festival? The finest choral group in all Austria. The greatest mix quartet in all Europe. And the best friend in the world. Hatch, that's something I love. So would I. But right now, all I've got is a basso. Who is the even fun of? You always put up with your best friend. And why? Because my motto is, never start out looking for the people you wind up getting. That's why I've been calling Rome, Paris, Sweden, London. On they were telephone? Of course. How else can I put it? Why am I up here? Well, I hope it was because you like me. Of course I like you. You're rich. You live like a king. Oh, you're an excellent chef. Max! What? Okay, I admit it. I like rich people. I like the way they live. I like the way I live when I'm with them. Speaking as a government official, Caleb, is there a cathedral around here? Oh, that's our abbey, not our abbey. Do they have a choir? Beautiful. Good. In the next few days, you can visit all these towns right here. Listen to the same fun. Choirs and protests. You'll be back here for meals, won't you? Oh, yes. It was a town about that size, Washington, where I discovered the St. Ignatius Boys Choir. In 1930, they won the festival. They became very famous. They grew in all over the world. Oh, yes. Whoever became of them? Well, by the time their voice changed, they were rich enough to live in America. <laughs> Who lives in that dilapidated old castle down there? <laughs> Rumble still skin. Baron Elberfield, the oldest family in the valley. I'd like to meet him. I'd like to meet all your friends. You were quite a two to work for me on here. Nothing very much, just something to punish. I wouldn't know who to invite. Today is difficult to tell who's a friend, and then... It's not a good time to make a friend. Let's make some friends. I can't imagine this happening to children. Don't worry about it. Are you? Well, they should have been here long ago. This has been an intense fight because I haven't met you yet. Well, excuse me, let me try to find them. Elsa, have you made a deal with your mind yet? Is he going to marry you? Oh, yes. And you don't know what it is? No. I do. What? It's simple. It's money. Money? Yes, he's rich and you're rich.
I'm a telegram for Air Detweiler. I am Air Detweiler. There, you delivered your telegram, now get out. Georg is just a boy. And I'm just an Austrian. I will not be piled. Georg, why don't you look at things the way I do? What's going to happen is going to happen. Just be sure it doesn't happen to you. <laughs> Max, it's a good thing you haven't any character. And I'm convinced I hate you. You can't hate me. I'm too lovable. <laughs> Excuse me, here, Demo. You have a call. I'll take it.
that settles it then. Bring it all down with that. Come on, Gaylord, I've been dodging the kitchen for the last half hour. Hazel, have you seen your father? Maria, I know it all along. Frustrated to the heaven, eh? She just wanted to get out of the car. She was faithful. Hazel, you mustn't say things you don't know are true. But I do know. I heard her tell Father she's been dodging these people. Hazel, it's very important that you children like frustrated. I like her, right? Why is it so important? Because I think she's going to be your new mother. Oh, Caroline, Father's well, never going to marry her. Why, he just couldn't. Why couldn't he? Because he's in love with you. Liesel, you mustn't say such things. You must know that. No, Liesel. Remember the other night, when you were all staying on the floor, seeing the Edelweiss on the glass? When he finished you laughing, getting the word. He didn't forget the word. He just stopped saying to look at you. And when he speaks to you, the way no, he voices, no. no. Excuse us, Lisa. Rhea, you won't be dining with the children tonight. You'll be eating down here with us. No, I think it messes up our But it's already been arranged. You'll be back since then. Oh, and just keep the dress right now if you're wearing up. Joe, I announced dinner again. Oh, no. Not yet. I have a children who want to stay tonight for us. Oh, you know I have such a thing to say to the way they did last night. It was all meant to be. Oh, well, so that's nice. It's really good. It's just for me. It's so sweet. No, Elsa. Not from the guests. Please, Gail, and your pastor will love it. Elsa, you know the black children don't sing in public. Really? Oh, did Maria want them to? <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, maybe just this once. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, oh, they're extraordinary. Well, I agree, talk them to I've been searching all over Austria for something like this for the festival, and I found it here. No, Max. Seven children and one family. Max, Gilbert didn't even want the children to sing here tonight. I'm Ah, then you have influence. Elsa, you must talk to me. This is very important to Austria, and it wouldn't do me any harm either.
pledge my life to God. I pledge my life to God's service. Maria, if you love this man, it doesn't mean you love God less. You must find out, and you must go back. Reverend Mother, please don't ask me to do that. Please just let me stay here. These walls were not meant to shut up problems. You have to face it. We do 
not need to go on a radio. You can sing just as well as me. Oh, but I've had experience with choirs, quartets, glee clubs. Max, please. <laughs> oh, Jordan, what would you like to sing? Borderline Maria, are we starting? We're not to mention Borderline Maria. Come on, Max. I feel like the first of all. Oh, that's just an idea. Hey, is anybody using the car? So tell me, what are you going to say? We don't feel like singing. We missed Paul on Maria. Why did she have to leave? Yeah, we have to have to leave. Louisa, did you play any tricks on her? Oh, he does. She likes to laugh, Dad. You didn't put spiders in her? No. Something must have happened. For her to leave us without even saying goodbye? No, darling, I don't think so. But she was the best governess we ever had. How <coughs> going to have a governess anymore? Oh, good. I'm not sure that's good. You're going to have any mother. Any mother? Ross Trader? Yes. It was all settled last night. I'm very happy. Well, it's time for your afternoon walk. This poor Maria always wanted to feel better. She used to sing that song. Remember? Yeah. Thank you, Franz. 
Anyway, what are we talking about? Max, that's not the first call you've had in the room. Gaylord, can I help it if I have no political conviction? I know that people do. Let's not say that at Jonathan promised not to invade Austin. Max knows that. Then why does he even bother to answer those phone calls? Because they don't keep their promise. I want to have some friends among them. Naturally. Oh, you agree too. Gaylord, try looking at it like this. There was a man who was done. They were reading him his last rites. They asked him, do you renounce the devil and all his works? Well, the man said at this time, I prefer not to make any enemies. <laughs> Yes. Do you realize what might happen to you to your property? To your children? Elsa. Oh, forget about Elsa. What about me? <laughs> what would you do with that What anybody with any sense would do. Just sit tight and wait for it to all blow over. And you think it will. Well, one thing's for sure. Nothing you can do will make any difference. Tell me, darling. You did what you had to do, we are ideally. Today you have to learn to be a realist. You may be bent on doing me the very do. But up against a shark, what can I do?
but you don't save yourself by giving up. And you cannot win a lion by putting your head in the, in the lion's mouth. I'll come back. Go ahead. <coughs> I do worry about what will happen to the children if we're invaded. What about me? Don't you worry about what will happen to me? <coughs> Something I have to tell you. I must have done 